Hi guys, this is Kalura Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, or a slip knit pass. And this is just a two decrease stitch. If you look at my swatch here, you can see these stitches that are leaning to the left with yarn overs in front of them are my slip knit pass. And this is worked um, similar to a slip slip knit, but it's worked just a little bit differently. So I'll show you that. I've worked up on my little swatch here up to the point where I'm ready to place that slip knit pass over these two stitches. And just to ensure that my stitch count stays at two, I'm gonna do a yarn over first. But for the slip knit pass, I'm simply going to slip the first stitch knit wise, as if to knit, onto my right hand needle. And then I'm gonna knit the next stitch. And then I'll insert my left hand needle from left to right, purl wise, through that slipped stitch, and then I'll pass that over the knitted stitch. So that's created that left lean decrease. And I'll show that to you, even though it's not gonna work in my stitch pattern here, but I'll just show you again. I'm gonna slip knit wise the first stitch, knit the next stitch, insert our needle from left to right, and pass that slip stitch over the knit stitch. So that's how you create a slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, or a slip knit pass. So I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.